Good morning, it's Jim, AG6IF. I'm playing around with Raspberry Pi today. I want to show you a couple of things. So I got my Pi set up. It's on the network here at the house. And I want to connect to it from another computer so I can uh, move some files around and so forth. So first thing you have to do is you have to note the IP address of your Pi. Uh, you do that by logging into your Pi. If you go to the GUI and do the Wi-Fi, it'll be on the screen. But if you have a command prompt, you can type IF config. And it will show you your IP address. Uh, my wireless link is called WLAN0. The IP address is 192.168.1.100. It will be something like that for your home network. It might be a 10.0, but it's probably a 192.168. It could be a 0. Dot something or a 1. Dot something, generally. That uh, depends how your network is set up. So, uh, I have made a connection an SSH connection. By the way, I use Linux, so this is for Linux users. I'm going to uh, connect to my Pi from my laptop by typing SSH space Pi at 192.168.1.100. And when you do that, it's going to prompt you for the password that you set up. And you type that in, and you're logging into your Pi. Uh, I'm playing around with the FM, so if I, it's called, the directory I created is called PyFM, I can CD PyFM, so there's my directory. Alright, so let's say that you want to move files, drag and drop some files. With Linux, uh, you go to your file manager, connect a server, connect a server, and over here you're going to use SSH right there in the top. The server name is going to be 192.168.1. In my case, 100. That should make sense. It's the same as the SSH you manually, no, I just manually showed you. Port, unless you've changed it, it's going to be 22. That's the standard port for SSH. Username, the default is Pi, you can add a bookmark on your machine, give it a name, Pi1. Believe me, I'm going to have more of these. So when I hit connect, what you're going to see here is you're going to get a password prompt. Type my password in, and I'm going to tell it to remember forever, and hit connect. Now you're going to see a You may have to unlock your key ring. That was that extra prompt there. That was from my local machine. Now, here's your Pi files, all your Pi files. You're, you're in GUI now. Home, Pi, and the Pi FM directory. The nice thing about that is there's a window. I can come back up here and open another file manager, a home folder, for example. And we're just going to grab a folder here, a file, not a folder. Um, I'm going to grab this file here. Set the camera down for a second here so you can see this. So I've got two file managers. I'm going to grab the, uh, I'm going to grab a file and drag it across and drop it. I dropped it in the Pi, and there's the file in the Pi, just as easy as that. Now you could use SCP for you Linux guys out there, SCP, guys and gals. Uh, but this is a real easy way to do it. So it's basically a file share with your Pi on any machine that you're running Linux on. You can move files back and forth. You don't have to memory stick the stuff. You can do this across the internet. You can do it across uh, just about any, any kind of link you have. Uh, and assuming your firewall doesn't block you, but... Uh, yeah, it works really good. You can uh, use all the tools that Linux people are familiar with, like uh, rsync. You could back this thing up across the internet with a friend, whatever. Um, and it's a pretty powerful little box. I've got mine um, hooked to a 7-port powered hub from Staples that had a lot of current capability, 2.5 amps. And uh, I've got a composite uh, backup monitor hooked up using that when I need a local monitor but once you're connected to it you don't really need that 
generally speaking. And then, of course, the HDMI stuff. Um, so anyway, hopefully uh, this will uh, help you get connected to your Raspberry Pi. And uh, I've been playing with the FM uh, output on that. And it's not truly FM, and it's pretty noisy. But uh, if you want to send a FM signal around your house or for Halloween or something like that, uh, you know, it would, it would work pretty good. So thanks for watching. This is Jim, AG6IF. That's my ham call sign. And um, I'm a Linux guy, and the Pi is just a great, great little tool for 35 bucks. Hard to beat. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.